I'm Ted, as you can see, we're in the warm weather climate here. I've been out doing some trekking today and I thought I'd just share some of the few tips that I got on uh, hiking in this sort of climate. So the first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is taking a break like I'm doing right now. Just having a seat, you could put your feet up, most importantly also to take your shoes off, air them out. And this is also a really great time to change socks if you've been hiking for quite some time. Take out the insoles because they're also pretty wet. The next thing I would do is to hydrate or rehydrate. When it comes to water in this sort of climate, I bring a lot of water with me because there's not always water to be found and the water that you find is maybe not drinkable. So I carry a lot of water with me. I have this one here on the side as well and then I have a camelback. So I have uh, roughly on this pack, I have four liters of water when I begin my hike. I usually uh, don't tape my feet in the beginning of the trek. I kind of feel it a little bit, unless I know that it's gonna be really hard and if I'm carrying really heavy load, uh, then I tape it before I go so the feet are as fresh as possible. When it comes to food, it's really important to eat. And in this environment, you feel that you might not be that hungry because you drink a lot and that will give you like a full feeling. It's still so important to re-energize and get the fuel back. So eat as much as you can. And if you just have nuts with you, that's perfect as well. And then when you do a longer stop or you stop for the evening, really important to eat a full meal so your body can refuel again. As you can see, now that I'm out in the sun, I put my hat on, but when I'm in the jungle or it's shade, I take it off so I feel as cool as possible. So sometimes you're walking in the jungle, the lower parts of the terrain can be pretty rough. So a pair of long trousers could be a really good solution to that. Just make sure that you have uh, zippers or ventilation systems. You can open them up and get some uh, ventilation to your legs. As you can see, this t-shirt is gonna get really wet and sweaty during the day. So in the night, it's really nice to have an extra t-shirt just to change into drier clothes. Also, when you arrive in the night, uh, or if you're ending up go running late in the day, it gets dark here really quick, so make sure that you have a head torch with you and an extra pair of batteries. So before we go, we just adjust our backpack to our needs to make sure that it sits comfortable. And then I do the chest strap as well. And then last but not least, the top part here. Took this one down so you get the pack close to your back. And then when I walk, I tend to move it around a little bit to, to avoid getting sore in the shoulders and in the hips. Because if you're carrying a lot of things, you, after a while you will, get, you will really feel it here and down by the hips. And with that, we're good to go.